As I know from my own experience, there are plenty of challenges in running a monastery. You have to inspire your monks with zeal in following the rule of St. Benedict, as well as managing all the practical aspects of keeping a monastery functioning. Not an easy task. And the abbots who came after me faced lots of criticism because Hyde was too close to Winchester and its temptations could not easily be disguised, as you have heard in some of our previous stories. A senior member of the Christian clergy once said, when the abbot is not supervising his monks properly, then a curse falls, just as when a shepherd through his sloth neglects his sheep. The monks fall into a trap with grave danger to their souls. I was only too aware of my own failings, but I tried to lead. I tried to lead with example and with zeal and, and to be fair. St. Ignatius said, find good in whatever you are doing and in all the other people in your life. And of course, this wasn't dissimilar to the words Archbishop Langton had said to me after the signing of the Magna Carta. Gradually over the years, the number of monks here in Hyde declined. In its zenith, Hyde had about 50. That was true when I was in charge, but the plague poor leadership, decline in morale, gradually reduced the numbers. From 50, it went to 30. And by the time the abbey was closed, the number had reduced again to about 20. Bad management didn't help. At one stage, there were a lot of complaints about poor quality of bread. And shall we say an abbey preys on its stomach. If the bread's not good, then you're in trouble. The problem turned out to be that the bread was being made from bad, putrid flour. Monks began to fall ill and weren't able to do their duties. So by the very end, 1538, when all of these lovely buildings were pulled down, after the abbey was dissolved, the spirit had gone out of the place. Off the monks went happily, in some cases I imagine with the pensions from the king but it was all over and what was once a fine establishment became for many years a wasteland and as i sit in this cloister and wonder at the riddle how eras have been rolled up and from their rim the stars the same stars as you see are shaken off into the netherworld but now through your eyes Hyde Abbey is ready to be discovered again.